Hi, this is Dr. Todd Kays, mental coach and sports psychologist. Today I want to talk about mental toughness in golf. Now we throw that term around mental toughness all over the place. We throw it around in sports, sometimes we throw it around in, in work, we throw it around with our kids at home. But what exactly does it mean? That's the challenge that I want to present to you today. We throw it around but if we don't really know what it means, what it is, how to see it, touch it, feel it, then it's hard to develop it. A lot of times we talk about mental toughness as an attitude. We sometimes talk about it as an emotion or a feeling. Well, I have three components to mental toughness that are important that I want to discuss today. One is that mental toughness is an action, period. End of story. So when it comes to golf, how you bounce back from a poor hole, a poor round, a birdie train, that the actions you take, that reflects mental toughness. The preparation you put in for a tournament, doing all the little things, doing the mental training drills, going to the course and maybe staying late, doing the extra, making sure you're focused and engaged when you're in your workouts, doing that one extra rep, that's an action that demonstrates mental toughness. Many times I can see this on the golf course and it is amazing how many times I don't. And that's what's disappointing and that's what I want to, hopefully you can learn something about today. That don't look at mental toughness as some pie in the sky concept. Just simply look at it as an action you take. So you know that if you get on a birdie train, which we all do on the golf course at times, a mentally tough response would look like, you know, I'm gonna have fun, I'm gonna get back to my pre-shot routine, I'm going to just play the next shot. Regardless of how you might feel on the inside, you make a choice, you make and take an action step that this is what I'm going to do. So know first and foremost that mental toughness is an act. It's a verb, it's not a noun. Secondly, mental toughness is a choice. Now a lot of times when we're out there and we're not playing well or we had a poor round, many times I find golfers will fall into a place of self-pity. They'll play the victim, okay? And that's unfortunately sometimes part of the human race. We all do it at times. But I want you to know that you're making a choice. You're making a choice to stay in self-pity, to feel bad about the front nine if you didn't play well. To feel bad if the coach, the college coach that you were hoping to look at you, didn't. All of these things require an action of mental toughness. But then once you know the action that is a mentally tough action that you decide ahead of time, then you make a choice. Are you going to implement it or not? That's up to you. That's again, a very difficult choice sometimes because in the moment we may not feel like it. We may feel frustrated. We may feel angry. We may feel down in making the choice to engage in the action of mental toughness is not something we truly want to do. It's hard. As I'm talking to you today, this is simply stated. It is not simply lived. But if you want to reach your potential and you want to be successful in anything you do, on the golf course, off the golf course, in your career, it takes mental toughness, period. That's, that's just life. And the third thing I want you to know about mental toughness, it's a skill. Nobody has a trademark on mental toughness. Nobody's just simply born with mental toughness. It is a skill that you developed. How do you develop that skill? Well, you decide on what actions would be mentally tough on the golf course. And I'm sure you can make a whole list. How are you going to respond when you get on the birdie train? How are you going to respond when you lose to one of your top competitors? How are you going to respond when maybe you don't get the top college choice. How are you going to respond when you miss a three foot putt for par? How are you going to respond 
when you're about to have one of the best scores you've ever had and you go double-double on the last two holes. That's an act of mental toughness. And you need to know ahead of time because mental toughness, just like any skill, requires preparation. So here are the three things I want you to remember about mental toughness. First, it's an act. It's an action. It's a verb. Second, it's a choice. Not necessarily an easy choice, but it's a choice nonetheless that each of us make or don't make. And third, it's a skill we develop. You didn't get good at putting by doing it a few times. You did, got good at putting or you got good with the golf club in your hand from months and weeks and years of practicing over and over again. Mental temp toughness is no different. So make sure that you make this a skill because it will make you, help you, is it a requirement for you to reach your potential in golf? This is Dr. Todd Case. I'll see you next time.